I can check Todd TV to see if it's on. I should still. Let me just double check. Hey, I can go into it. Yep. It should be up. Are we um, good? Now, um, make sure you announce the first person that's going to play. Um, on down below and move into a separate channel. What's up? Move the guy that's playing in a separate channel so he doesn't hear anything. Okay. And I won't be able to talk, um, just simply because I'm gonna mute myself on TeamSpeak. Buddy was moved out of your channel. That's fine. Wait, where did Yep go? You moved out to tell everybody that whoever's playing first. Then it's gonna be randomized. Buddy was moved to your channel. Silly Yep. It's fine. I already moved him. I already moved him. Perfect. Oh, my bad. All right. I'm going to go ahead and start the game. Monks, you're streaming, correct? Yes. User um, left your channel. Somebody can double check if it's up and running. And... Hey, are you going to cast with me? Or... User was moved to 80s? your channel. No, I, I think I'm a little caster. I'll be able to talk, although there might be feedback. How about that? Yep, there we go. Yeah, I can hear you. Whatever it is. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start the game. Perfect. And yeah, just, I can hear you again, Hades. Just a reminder, this is poor quality. Mm -hmm. Oh, Hades has to leave. Is he coming back? Red. I don't know. <laughs> this is not good. So, so how do you want to do this, Monk? Me and Hades kind of had something set up, but how do you want to cast it? Like, I'll let you do the lead and I'll just follow it with it. This is my first time casting a game, so... Okay, there is going to be feedback. Just letting everybody that's going to watch it know ahead of time. But well, worst case scenario, uh, me and Yep can do it, or we can drag breath in here. Anyway, we should work. Poor Ed again. Uh, and He's brave. If one of you guys... First one. If one of you guys can message a CC member and have them promote it so we can actually get more people. Okay, you guys can start. All right, Monk, well, you started off, man. It's going, so. I'm not. You guys are casting. I'm just the streamer. Uh, I'm, the, I'm the only one casting right now. I need to. Oh, I'll do it. Okay. Well, you, you lead it off, Angel. I'll back you up. Alrighty. We have the red turn at the bottom. And then the purple tear at the top. Go for it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, right now it's a TVT, and uh, both of them are going for uh, the supply at the ramp. Um, I'm not very experienced in the TVT matchup, except other than the fact that uh, it could be interesting to watch. So I'm expecting some tank drops, maybe some bio play. I don't know what do you think, Angel. Well, I'm looking at it right now, and Winter actually went for a very quick gas, so. I'm kind of wondering yeah. if it's going to be a... That's way too soon for a Reaper, I think. I could be mistaken. I don't know a normal Terran opening. I guess we'll have to see. It could be a quick Reaper, because uh, Abigail's uh, a little behind on the gas there. Uh... What's and interesting? Uh, scouted it just now with his F SCV, and uh, Winner has a uh, second um, gas down. Correct. Winter is going for double fast gas while the red Terran is going three racks. And do... Winter has a Reaper coming and an orbital command right behind it. Correct. He's throwing down the, the Reaper factory. and then also a factory. Could be some tank drop play. Well, it'll be interesting if he throws down a reactor or not after the Reaper's done. Nope, he's queuing like up another one. It looks like a potential 1-1-1 one, one, one play, where you get one barracks, one factory, one starboard. Well, it'll be interesting if he goes Banshees or not. And uh, Abby Dan here is still um, working on a regular command center. He hasn't upgraded it yet. Going for the second gas. And Hades has left the game. Hades OP.
All right, and you got some uh, Marines on the field right now? Well, let's see if the Reaper can do any damage. Just looking at the units, it's one Reaper versus one Marine, but more Marines are popping out. Yeah, followed by a Marauder. So we got two, we got three Marines and a Marauder for Avidan, and we currently have one Reaper and a Hellion now for Winter. And he's throwing down a reactor on that barracks, and now he's going to go for his natural. I wouldn't be surprised if he lifted up that barracks um, when the start when it's done, the reactor, and uh, use it for the starport. But what does he really need it from? Just liberators? Could be. Between or uh, medevacs, or a double sense. medevac, maybe. Oh, uh, because he's going for more of a mech army, it looks like. Avidan's got stem down. Still no second from Avidan. He'll probably pump out a bunch of marines and do a marine... Uh... Tank push. Ah, he's going for a Viking. Winter. Got a win Yeah, it looks like a potential tank drop play. Mech. So I would agree with your statement there. And we got uh, two Marines from Winter coming out. Well, what's going to be interesting is that he's not going to have stem or combat shield for a long while. I'm guessing the second barracks will drop down to Tech Factory, but until then. I have him definitely needs to expand here. He's moving out right now with a small group. Oh, he's going back to his ramp. Uh, he definitely needs to wait for at least a medevac because half his army is already dead. Now, for any potential viewers, because I'm not on Twitch and I can't, I don't know how many viewers, Avidan here is relatively new to StarCraft, so. The Reaper took out a Marine, doing a little damage on that group moving out. Yep. The most important part is he saw that it was coming up north, but he has two tanks, so... Well, it's, I re good. yeah, I doubt the damage will be non-existent at this point. Winner is prepared for it. He's throwing down, uh, he's going for the third Rax. Third Rax reactor on the starport. And on a two-base economy, Avidan is definitely behind. When you're going for his uh, tech upgrade. We have the Reapers coming back down. Nope, they're chilling in the middle. We do have stem and infantry upgrades from both players. Yeah, when it will get his a lot sooner. However, our red player, Avidan, already has stem down. But they're going to be eaten by the tanks. Ooh, that was a slaughter right there. We got a Marauder with 16 health, a Marine with 10, and another Marine with 10. They barely got it out of there. Now but, he's gonna, if he runs those Reapers, it's going to get cleaned up. Yep, and they're dead. And Avdan puts down a second. Didn't necessarily take the easy second right here, right next to his main. And the Reapers looks like they're going in for some intel. Maybe try to get a couple more picks, maybe. He'll definitely see it, but he probably will think that's a third and not a natural. He probably thinks Evidence going to go on three base. And one Reaper goes. Yeah, the hell in there in the mix with his bio. Double factory. The starport down. And we still on three racks. Let me know when you have to Winter wait. does look like he's doing a tank drop. He has three medevacs and pushing out with them. So it'll be interesting if he pushes up down through the middle and drops the tanks in his natural. It's very possible. Then he'll know that he's, not, he's been on a one base economy his entire game. Well, just looking at it, I don't know when he last scanned it, but he does not see the natural. He is throwing it down. And right now the supply difference is almost double right now in favor of Winter. We do have a scan from Winter seeing what's at the main. All right, well, he sees his army there at the third. Okay, mistaken if you're Meanwhile, watching. Meanwhile, Avidan is... What was that, Monk? 
And I'm mistaken if you're watching. Can you get the next person ready? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That way we can just go on to the next match right away. And you're ready? Twin right here with the tank drops on the main. Avenue lift up the starter. He's going to lose that command center, it looks like, though. Yep, it's getting picked off. It's down. And there's really not much Avenue can do about it now. This is this is GG right here, boys. Yes, sir. The push comes out. And there we go. The winner of the first game is Winter. You're stimmed by one second. I'm going to... Here, I'm gonna move Monk. You were moved. Hello. Maybe whoever's in here. I'm going to Alt Tab. Now we're just waiting. You were moved. Welcome. Buddy joined your channel. All right. I believe I sent him a game invite. No, Monk? Oh, I guess we do need Monk, don't we? Yeah, I'm putting the kind of vital for it. I'm going for the join um, game since you guys are slacking. Hmm. I totally forgot about you. I'm not gonna even lie. Okay. Um. Is everything all set now? Mm -hmm. I'm ready. We should be good to go. Okay, our next player is Spitting Lion Cobra. He is a Diamond Protoss. Alright, so we're going to have Winner as Random and Lion Cobra as Protoss. Maybe we have his first real task in against a Diamond. Can a Diamond player beat a GM? Possibly, but who knows. So while you guys do the announcements, I'm going to message the next person and verify that they're ready to go. Okay, perfect. So I'll be checking down. Buddy left your channel. Right, if I remember right, Winter Gaming is a random GM and a Zerg GM, yeah? He's and a random pro best GM. He's, he's been, oh, he's been every GM in every race, so... <laughs> Which is pretty good. So he's, he's GM across the board. <laughs> yep. Now, at some point, I might have to go AFK, so I'm just going to put it in Breath's view or in Yep's view until I come back, which it should be like a two-minute thing. Put it on breath view. Oh, okay. the pressure. The Put pressure. it on breath view. I'll let you know ahead of time. Um, it might be this game, but that's fine. Just let you know. Who's lying cover with that Lion nice load time? Channel. Welcome, user. All right, and the game is commencing. In the top right corner, we have Winter Gaming, Winter SC. And on the bottom left, we have our own member, Tall Spitting Lion Cobra. And it's a PvP. So what are your, what are your thoughts about this matchup, Breath? Oh, this is an interesting matchup. PvP is, I think, still somewhat cheesy. So we'll see who does the better cheese. So what should we expect? Because my, my knowledge on PvP is very limited, so... You know, I'm not sure what to expect. I do think it's interesting both players will put the pylon in front. I'm a fan of putting it on my mineral line, so maybe maybe I shouldn't. Well, um, I like it in the next uh, Nexus because you can have that early um, warping, the easy warp in two seconds. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I think the idea is you can cover the ramp then with this pylon, where if you put it in the back, you can't. But oh, it's kind of strange. But ooh, so we got double gas from uh, Cobra. From uh, Line Cobra, and he and, blocked uh, off the ramp with his and, probe and then put it on the gateway. And the air is expanding, so he's going to gasless build right away. So Winter wants in. He wants to know what's going on. He should think this, this is highly might suspicious. Make him a little nervous. Oh, definitely. Yeah, it should freak him out a little bit. And Lion Cobra now with the Cyber Core. Only two in gas, though, from Cobra. Nice. I... Interesting choice. But... And Winter threw down the gas himself. One's up. He what do you think? Stargate or Blink? That'd be my two guesses. Stargate for me. We could see, we could see some uh, Stargate play with the Phoenixes. Maybe get a pick at the probe line. Yeah, maybe. And uh, Winter just put down a uh, pylon at his uh, middle line. The line cobra has one near his gas. It's going to take forever for that probe to destroy that pylon. <laughs> All oh, right, line cobra is actually close. going with a double adept. Um, Winter going with one. Both researching warp gate. Looks like it's going to be a gateway fight to begin with. You know, let's see how it goes. You know, winter is expanding, so who knows? Yeah, winter's the defensive player. He doesn't need to be aggressive with the expansion. Yes. He has cut all probes though, because he doesn't know what to expect. So actually, Cobra has more probes. The depth oh, is on the wrong side of the pylon, though. That's so unfortunate. <laughs> and there we go. We have the lonely adept stuck in the base. That is funny. This one adept is. Not gonna get as much done. There's the Stargate. So it's pretty much one versus one. All right. So yep, we I have Stargate predict- play coming from Lion Cobra. Predictable. And the one with the cannon. And he also wins. just put down a second. That is hilarious. <laughs> one of those get stuck moments. Are we gonna get a pro? No, not gonna get a pro kill. He does get intel at the second though. Yep, yeah, he knows there is an expansion. Well, he and he does s- live, so. You already seen the expansion. And uh, when they're throwing down a robo. Oh, he's going with uh, some Oracle play, it looks like, from uh, Line Cobra. Yeah, robo is the safest thing you can do, and you don't really know what your opponent's doing. He's trying to still figure out a way to get in there. Because he assumes he destroyed one of the pylons. Oh, he's going for the second Stargate. Okay. Okay, but uh, okay, Breath, I gotta go real quick. Um, it's a new deal. Oh, the pressure's on. All right, I won't just sit in a corner. All right, where's this Oracle? That Oracle's the most interesting thing we got to work with. Oracle's coming right across. I the found middle. it. I found it. It'll be interesting. Oh, no PS2 stalkers that have been rolling. And the budget score looks like it's moving to particular sides, so probably not gonna get much done off this Oracle. Well, it's got five. one, two, two. Who would have lived? Yeah, yeah, two pros and uh, 40 HP percent. left on the Oracle. Okay, I'm back. Double Stargate. So, let's see what I'm going to do. And his cancel. And now he's got some Phoenixes on the field. And when they're throwing out an Observer. He has a sky oh. Preventing the third. What's real nice is Winter is only up ahead by one probe at the moment. Yeah, him cutting probes for so long didn't, uh, didn't do him any favors. Yeah, but um, Spitting Lion Cobra hasn't produced a probe yet. Okay, no, There's two bid and right now. <laughs> well, now he is. He's putting on the third. Mass gateways dropping down. Yeah, add nope. more on. Don't move out the way. Hey, and we got a blinking research from uh, Winter and ground up traits. Got and a warp prism about to be finished. Got a third from Spitting Lion Cobra. No, oh, Phoenix right. killed two probes. Didn't lose any. That's good. And he's got a fifth one coming up now. 
Where is this? All right, looks like he's moving out again, this time with some uh, more Phoenixes. Got six now. Yeah, I think Winter's pushing for the win here. I think it's his idea. Oh, don't lose the Phoenix. They're important. Oh, these other two, they're all oh, that you're going to get picked, maybe? Oh, oh barely get out. Guys, but not with much HP. One with two HP and a dream. <laughs> All right, well, this push is coming, though. What does Cooper got at home to survive it? All not right, much. right now he's got a, some, a few stalkers and a depth. Not really a lot. Well, the Phoenix should help. Looks like he's heading up the offensive oh, uh, Close. Not a failed die. Are you sure he finally got blink? He has a whole bunch of Phoenixes, not a whole lot else. Yeah, he's, if he can kill the Warp Prism, that would be huge. If oh, he definitely. doesn't kill the Warp Prism, he's probably going to get overrun. Because he doesn't have... He's got two gates. Winner's got, what, six? So, and now we're... he's got the Warp Prism sending out more Stalkers. Here comes the push. Oh, don't overcharge by some more time. Not much, but time. Yeah, just by... It could be delaying the inevitable. I can't wait until they... Yeah, conservative on them. Two voids. I like the two voids. The voids will help. Oh. I can't wait until the photon increases the energy. He still has plenty of energy on his mother's cord, though. He has 100 energy. And he got the... When I got the pile on pick. Yeah, but there's two more. He only has three more for now until he gets 100 energy. These voids will be huge, though, if they pop out. Oh, wait for the void. They're about to be popped out. Come on, hold... Oh, the mother's cord. Kill, kill, kill the mother's Oh, mother's oh, dead. Oh, the mother's cord. Alright, gotta off. go. Void's gotta show up. Void's gotta do some work. Void's aren't helping. There we go. Oh, good blinks. Oh, Very definitely. good blinks. Oh, one's dead. Yeah. Oh, okay. And the void ray is about to go down. This is not good. And, yeah, he's, <laughs> winner took it, took that engagement and rolled with it. And Lion Cobra GG'd out. Good game. GG. Okay. So right now the GM is up two, and Tall is currently at zero. Yep. Angel, can you get the next person? Definitely interesting to watch. Yeah, that was Most a fun definitely. game. That was good, man. Ooh, actually, Lineclover had more APM than winning that game. <laughs> the spam is real. That's for sure. <laughs> Winner had more upgrades. Error. Mm. Buddy left your channel. Ooh, next up on the list we have Data, who is a Zerg, a gold level Zerg. Alright, Zerg versus Random. Buddy gold versus channel. Master's Gold.
Yeah, kind of like the. <laughs> That's funny. Ashenar is on Winner's on Winner's channel saying we'll take Wood League players. <laughs> oh, there's Breath with the Save. Tal takes all level of players. I'm trying to <laughs> keep chatting in his chat and help cast and chat on the team speak and what kind of help get you emails have? on my website. I'm I'm a little stressed. <laughs> a little stressed in right now. It kind of helps when you have three monitors to do that. I'm working with one monitor ripping. Did Yep and Monk want to grab the stream for this one? What do you mean? Well, I've been casting, but I'm streaming. I'll cast. I don't need care to cast. So how from casting? All right, and it looks like it is going to be a ZVT. In the top left, we have our own member, the new recruit Data, as the Blue Zerg. On the bottom right, we have Purple Winter Gaming on Prion Terrace. Most Zergs love this map for that nice little gold base. Yep. Mm -hmm. So let's see what happens here, man. So let's just get in a slightly early refinery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it could be a quick Reaper. It's going to be a lot of Reapers. I'm also listening to Winter Stream, so... <laughs> oh, so he knows in advance it's going to be a lot of Reapers. Uh, it should be a lot of Reapers, if I heard correctly. It looks like he's doing the exact same build. What will be interesting is if the Zerg, how he reacts to it. Zerg went hatch first. Went for the safe natural instead of the gold. Followed by gas. And the next one should be pool. And he throws down the pool. So he went hatch gas pool. This is opening. And right now when it has two racks popping up, he has a uh, full saturation on his gas. They're ready to, yep, the waypoints are ready set across the map. Yes, sir. Two racks, Reaper. And we have our first Reaper on the way, being built. See, I don't like Luckily the... Luckily for... Now, that's from the times I have watched Winter. I have seen a lot of Reaper all-ins from him. Reax Reaper. Correct, but luckily for Data, he will see the Reaper come across from the Overlord. The question is, does he notice it or not? Does he know how to survive it? A lot of Reapers. Not an oh. easy thing to survive. Oh, he's getting a small group of lings. He sees the Reaper coming, and he's or he's moving drones. He saw second. It. He saw it on the map, but I don't think he actually saw it. I don't think he was paying attention to it. Nope. Oh, his lings are gonna run right into that Reaper. And they're not. They're not speed. Speed's not gonna be done for a long time. I don't like the position of the pool by the Zerg. Run away, yeah. lings! Run away! You you can't fight off crew. Yeah, you can't you can't fight you can't fight that. Well, that queen's there trying to help him out. All right. You know, so you got three wing picks with that. Now he should be aware that this is going to be a lot of reapers. Not necessarily. Two is fairly normal. Three two this more quick, coming. You have two. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> now you should know. Three more coming. Yeah, yeah, the that is natural. Well. He's sending oh, in drones needlessly. No! He needs to fix that um, waypoint. He needs to fix the waypoint. We got um, rapid three Reapers coming oh, at a time. Oh, he's trying to go with the spine caller. Oh, one Reaper. going for the queen. The queen is picked off. One Reaper still alive. All Reapers are alive. Run, Oh, Reapers. another queen is up. Another queen is up. He's sending the queen from his main down. Okay, you should attack the main right the now. The damage on these Reapers, man. Oof. And the steady stream of Reapers going across the map. We do see two command centers coming down from winter. Oh, but it could be it could be a, uh -oh. a quick victory oh, though. Oh, the larva. All these, speed all is the up larva. though, speed is up. But we're do nothing. Enough legs. I think there's more Reapers than legs. Yep. Yeah, there's not enough. <laughs> He's Plus desperately trying micro. to hold on. 
That's that one queen with 40 HP. <laughs> He's not injecting either right now. Because all the larvae is getting destroyed by the grenades. Oh, he's actually throwing drones instead of wings. Oh, that queen just got... Oh, and the no, drones, whatever. man. The larva is getting destroyed easily. This does not appear to be good. Oof. Right now, Winter is definitely on the advantage. And he's just sending out mass. Right now, is, right now our Zerg is, has a ton of gas. No wings. Uh, I think he hasn't even killed a Reaper yet. Let's take a look. He's lost oh, one that's... unit. He's yeah, lost he lost one unit. unit. Versus 31. He's poor. Oh, it's gonna be two units. Oh, he got two units. He killed two reapers. Uh, this is so GG. Good game. And right now, the GM winter. Three buddy, buddy, zero. Okay, and we're gonna wait for our next person. But this is easily getting defeated. So, which is to be expected versus a GM player. Excuse me, I'm all tabbing, so it might be a bit. Our next matchup will be our very own Breath against Winter. Can Breath be the one that redeems Tall against Winter Gaming tonight? We shall see. Buddy joined your channel. Welcome. While you guys cast, I will grab the next person. Okay. It's just you two since Barf is playing. Yep. Buddy left your channel. Welcome, John5723. Double random. Yep. And, well, um, we don't know each other's race, because they both could like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, right, in, right, right now, we have Breath in the bottom left as the pink Protoss. And in the top right, we have the purple Terran, Winter Gaming. Good, good. It's gonna be very boring. I'm very interested in this matchup. It's gonna be very boring know, for the, uh, the first two minutes. PvP is a boring match. However, I'm very interested because you know, for the people that aren't that are watching and don't know, Breath is my uh, Zerg coach. So it'd be very nice to see him pull the victory here. We shall see. No, and but right I'm now, saying Breath throwing down the. Uh, I want the, uh, yeah, I know. In the early game, it's usually boring. Very boring. Yep. All right, so we have a quick uh, pylon gateway with a um, a simulator from Breath. We have a uh, gas down for Winter, uh, Rex, and uh, the probe is out scouting right now. I'm definitely glad I'm not playing this one tonight, boys. I definitely would have got annihilated. 
It's okay. I really want to get Funky Goblin in on this. It would have been very entertaining for me to watch him play. Breath, don't lose your probe. Well, he's scouting. He knows you didn't go CC first. He saw the barracks. He sees that it is a reactor. And now Winter's scouting the expansion. I actually get the first kill. Ah, uh, breath, you had to leave. Oh, 10 HP left on that bad boy. Yep, but he's going to heal him up, so he shouldn't have to worry about too much. He's going to scout the expansion. Could be annoying there. Oh, no, he didn't go for the SCV. Me, myself, I like to be annoying and try and pick off the SCVs building it. Don't just even delay it a couple seconds longer. And Winter, so with his SCV down there, scouting that he's just has a gate and a cyber, now he's researching warp, and that the mothership core is on the way. Yep, Winter's building a fact. With Winter's building a factory. He's getting uh, bunkered in the low ground. And Breath with his um, adept out on the field, if I saw that right. Or did he? No. No, oh, he threw down a Stargate. Wow, my screen is running with an adept building in the production. I guess you canceled it, maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, Alright, so he's starting a bunker down. We have 47 down people. Uh, ramp there. Yep. We have 47 people. Oh, we got 47 people watching, huh? Hmm. Hello, 47 people. He's gonna go into two. I will. Uh, I will actually go on Twitch on my oh. phone, and uh, if you guys have any comments on the stream, I'll be more than willing to uh, read them. Winter scouts the uh, Star Gate. Very unfortunate for Breath. Although Winter's not really doing anything right now. All right, guys. Well, I'm actually on this. I'm actually on Twitch now. So if you guys have any uh, questions, um, feel free, and I'll uh, try to answer them as we go. Ah, he's getting the cyclone, so you should be fine. Cyclones are actually really powerful in PvP. I was watching um another GM, Nathanius. He likes to go cyclone heavy, um, kind of like an all-in against the uh, Protoss. Oh, he's going through the back. Oh, but he got um, Marines there already. Yeah, he, he predicted it. Oracle's moving around. He sees, oh, he's going to pick him off. He got a couple Marine kills, but he lost the Oracle. Very unfortunate. Probably a bad move. Oh, yeah, because he could have used that Oracle for the traps. Um, right now, um, Beth is a little oversaturated there on his second. That's fine. Once he gets a third, he can just transfer him over. Which Very is true. Dropped he down. dropped down a third actually right now. And Winter's moving out. Ooh, that doesn't really have a lot right now in terms of defense. Or well, he should be spotting has, the very uh, last of it. Two Phoenixes. A breath to the left. To the left. This is not good. Uh oh. This third is gonna very well could be denied. I'm gonna be canceled, there's no doubt about it. Well he has some adepts, although they can't they're not gonna do much against this army. Come. Very unfortunate hit. Oh, he's going to target the mothership. Ooh, that mothership is barely hanging on. Right yeah. now, that cyclone, though, man, is doing some work. Oh, you can't pick up the cyclone? That's very weird. I'm guessing not. Oh, oh you can. Yeah, I can. He's picking it off right now. I think he was just waiting for energy for it. 
Well, the third is successfully down. He's throwing down a pylon with it. So he's transferring to work. And right down. now we have a couple of medivacs. We have a siege tank. He's throwing down a uh, winner has five barracks is total. Four up and another one on the way. He's pumping out medivacs out of the starport. He almost has um, stim done. He's getting combat shield and his uh, plus one um, attack is almost done. And we have immortals coming out for breath. We have a Templar Archive and Charge. So it looks like they could be an immortal charge lot um, and Storm. Side Storm. Possibly Archons. Yep. And he gets to get Storm Research right away and post it out. A couple more gateways coming down for Breath. The scan dropped down by Winter, getting some intel. And Breath with the comments, stop scanning. Ooh, Winter says he's scared. Doesn't know what's up. That's funny. Um, although Breath could use um, one one on his thing. <laughs> well, he's got a, a little... He's just about halfway done with his size storm. He's getting charged Currently on. we have uh, three Templars on the field, three Stalkers and a Mortal with another one almost up. Now that scan, Winner should know that he's, oh, he just scanned his army at the third and he's moving out. He needs to do something about this one. Um, he's... Well, Breath sees army moving out, so he should be fine. Yeah, but does he have the observer at home for the widow mine? No, but um, up oh, move these out the way. Run away! Run away! Oh, nice storm. That's a nice storm. Oof. Yep, are you there? Yep. Hello. Yes, I'm here. I was just okay. uh, actually answering uh, a recruit's question. Sorry about that. That's why I was just, I was just wondering. I thought you lost connection. But you should really take care well, of these was typing. widow mines. The widow mines. Yeah, those widow mines are pesky. Oh, it, the observer is there. Oh, he picked off a probe with that, but that was intentional. And that's it for the widow mines there. Ah, right, this toss army does look. Uh, it's not necessarily a hundred percent scary, but it is something not to easily go against right now. Yep, he's getting. Uh, Especially with those templars in the mix. Or prism. Oh, move your army to the left, to the left. Get the storm. Oh, uh, the probes will definitely see it. Bro, bro, what? That was. Three probes are lost, four. Oh, he's getting the expansion so up top. So, I got some free picks. And Winter's not seeing the next expansion up top. And he's moving in right now. Let's see what he can do. The charge lights died there. And he throws down a storm. He pulled back. Did Let's see what the, can happen here. You got the mothership core? Oh, he threw down a storm. He's getting archons right now. He has an archon up. Some more Templars coming down. And he's storming the, the mothership core got the destroyed. Army. The mothership got destroyed. Yeah, but Breath still handled that off. He's not willing to get the pick of the mothership core. I think, say overall, Breath handled that pretty nice. He lost a few probes. However, he still doesn't know. If I only double check. No, he doesn't know about the. And Winter expansion. doesn't even know about that fourth. But he would once he comes down this section. Oh, what is he's going back home? And we have some archons on the field right now. Uh, at least two for breath. He has a small army up top. Uh, he can move and try to distract, but he's not doing anything with it. 
More prisms moving up top. Probably should try to harass the main. Got the sensor tower. Got uh, oh, two marines moving down. Breath has five probes. Oh, you gotta move, move your army up top, Breath. Oh, and the drop down on the fourth. Oh, yeah, it wasn't really. He's warping in some zealots. Wasn't really a draft. He just moved them from a little bit up top. Oh, Breath's moving in. He's going for an all-out kill. Breath has a slight advantage, but that's about it. Winter is going to move out to attack the hit in an expansion again. Breath's making more zealots. And... He's getting and right, right now we have a small army there, right on the edge of the sensor there. And uh, Winter knows that that is there. And there we go. We have a small push coming possibly from Breath. That observer just got picked off. All liberators on the field. This is let's, see what can, let's see what happens here. I don't know. It seems too weird. This is the longest match of the day so far. Okay. Terran has a 40 army supply advantage so far. Yeah, Breath definitely shouldn't have taken that engagement right away. He's a liberator. He needs to pull back right now. The, the supply lead is ridiculous. Yep. And Breath's not making any units. His fourth got well, destroyed. Got some more. His third's getting destroyed. He's making. He's looks like he's making a lot of archons, or he not? Yeah, he's making a lot of archons, and he has um some storm still. Yep, but so he's not completely out of this yet. His third's getting destroyed. But he needs to tread carefully because those liberators right there will destroy that army easy peasy. Yep. Well, his third got destroyed, and his fourth. And now he's yeah, the natural. Gone. Natural's getting attacked, so the drops. I think this is the end of breath here. Two drops killed him, pretty much, for now. Unless he, it's gonna be very hard to try to come back from this. So two drops yeah, very, did all that difficult. damage. He's moving out. Liberators are his worst enemy. Breath's moving out again, so they're going to fight in the middle. Oh, all those Liberators right there. Oh, man. And he does have Blink, though, but that army right under it. That push is coming up, though. There's not going to be much that can be done. Oh, he's going to abuse the Liberators. Liberators are a little strong. Yeah, he's denying the mining on that expansion right there. His Bane and Natural are getting he's... attacked. Oh, it's an all-out pronged attack. He's got a drop on the main, the Natural. He's got the fourth held down. He went to his destroyed his plus one attack. It's right now he's targeting his economy. Definitely. Breath is broke right now. And he's targeting and the. There's, all, there's like 130 supply difference almost. Templar archive got destroyed. The are getting picked off left and right at their fourth. And the um, upgrade advantage is ridiculous. 3 to 2 versus just um, one defense. Breath definitely seems to be scrambling right now. There's really nothing Breath can do. Winter's almost max and Breath. Barely has a hundred. And he's going for the fifth right now. Power, this has been the most challenge that winners had so far tonight. Yep, it's pretty much over. Yeah, but it, I, it is over, but at the same time, if.
Brett has any hopes of being in this game, he needs to do what little damage he can. Metro got destroyed. Trying to base, doing something. Metro got destroyed. Oh uh, yeah, it's pretty much it's do or die right now. Yep. Uh, 50 supply to 191. This game is over. Breath is fighting till the end, though. Storm won't be able to do anything. Nope. Good game. And Breath GG's out. Winter gaming at 4. Tall 0. Okay, good game. Okay. We shall wait for the next Is there game. any more challengers? Um, there should be one, um... I think two or three more. I think three. And then we'll see who's still available to play. Buddy joined your channel. Yeah. Hey. Except, join the party. Oh, sorry. I, I didn't even get a thing pop up. I was all tabbed. I'm going to fill up my drink. So yeah. I'll be back in a second. Is Brev going to be joining us? No, he will not. Okay. We can make subred. Subred, did you want to do some casting? No. No. Is, it, okay. is the barcode the guy that got banned? Did somebody ban him? I don't know. I've been um, setting up the game. Here, I'm moving you down. User was moved out of your Bye, subred. I don't know what he was talking about. Oh, some guy was messaging in the ta chat. And let me verify that the next person will be ready. Buddy left your channel. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Looks like we're gonna have the gold play, gold level player, Sanfo. It's a Zerg, and it's a ZVZ matchup. In the bottom left, we have Sanfo, the gold level Zerg, playing as the green Zerg, and in the top right, we have our undefeated GM right now, Winter Gaming, as purple Zerg. ZZ, something I do know a lot about. A lot of ling bling early on. I don't know about you, Monk, but in my opinion, I personally find that a lot of ZVZ, it usually depends on who either does the most damage early on or who holds off the aggression best early on. True. But pretty much standard. He's getting pool first, um, so, and Sample's going to expand first. So Sample takes gas, Winter is going to expand. Might be yeah, and, uh, and he has the quick pool. Sample's down with the pool. And Winter throwing down his gas. 
You're right, John. Um, it was a nice TVT, TVP last game. He's just slightly ahead on gas, but it shouldn't be a problem. Ooh, I don't know if Breath is watching this stream, but I was told that uh, we have a couple new applicants currently. Nice, I haven't checked this though. We gotta wait and see. <laughs> Got two links coming out from um, Winter. So Sample should have a slightly faster um, speed. Yeah, it does look like he does have the lead, kind of. Yeah, he took a gas first um, after he expanded. Yeah, he will, he will have speed. Right now, uh, when they're there with the scout, and uh, Sample is there with some more wings come popping up. He's making, he has, he's going to have a total of eight wings. Oh, Winter might lose one. Oh, oh uh, what is that? Was that, Miss, was that Mrs. Ozel? I don't even know how to pronounce it right, but, um, in order for you to change your login name on Tom, I'd have to, you'd have to make a new application and I'd have to reject your old one. Yep. Now, um, yep. Do you have the streaming? Uh, yeah, I have the stream on right now. Okay, can you mute it? Because that's I'm hearing a lot of feedback, and they're most likely hearing it too. You can have it on, but just mute it. Looks on my phone, so I just turned the volume down all the way. Thank you. Um, so he is seeing a whole bunch of links, but lucky enough, Winter does have a lot of links coming out oh. and bay wings. Yeah. Right now, there's a lot of wings, and uh, there's bane wings being made by samples behind it, and some more bane wings being made by Winter. And he's, it looks like he might be trying to go for the free picks on the bane wings, but they are up in time. What is he going to do with those bane wings? Got to use them, got to use them. Oh, he, not a really good trade with those bane wings. Very few wings were taken out by that. Right now, I'd say winners ahead economically, though, just because of the drone count. Let me double check. A little bit, yeah. Which has six dr drones yeah. more. In it, well, I see five more. It's 22 to 27. Uh, and he, he already has a third. Is that subreddit talking on the tall, tall fourth corpse? Yeah, that's kind yes. of subreddit. Hi, Subrat. Like I was telling you, Mrs., if you want to change your name on the website, like your the your website login name, which is uh, your application that you sent, you'd have to make a new application, and then I would have to reject your old one. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, um, just if you want a new name, he'll reject it. Um, let him know which name you use. He'll reject it. Just make a new application, and then you should be fine. Um, once we, if you can make the events, which is perfect. Oh, bailings coming in. Straight feathered drones. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. Well. Oh, no, oh. A little bit of. He managed drones. to hold that up, but. There's more gonna coming. be a lot more wings and bane wings coming up that ramp. There's Let's no see way. how he holds this. Oh, yeah, lag. Like. Oh, more drones down. Yeah, this game's pretty much done. It's over. Three bays versus two bays. Yeah, it's, it's done. Looks like very well here. We still have an undefeated GM. Queen's dead. Yep, it's GG. There we go.
this is very conf this is very confusing at the time. Mm -hmm. So the way Subred is talking is confusing me on the Twitch chat. It's okay. It's Subred. We forgive him. It's not like he can totally hear me and stuff. Oh, he can. He joined the Dota too. <laughs> he joined Dota? There's no wonder why we can't see it. Yeah, you're gonna have to wait for them to do that because we have no control over that game. We control StarCraft. RIP. Well, hey, at least it's people joining Tall nonetheless, even if it's for Dota. No, we do have a couple of new applications, man. Yeah. Buddy joined your channel. Who's, Give some point. Who's King Riot? Um, Bailing. Oh. New recruit. Yeah, tell him to get rid of his clan tags. Eh. Buddy left your channel. Ooh, Tic Tac just corrected subreddit. About how many games top plays. Alright, this is the first game that went through. Has a Reese chosen for him. Um, I do you believe this is Bailing? And uh, he's uh, going for Terran. Unranked Terran. Against GM Zerg. An orbital shipyard. Yeah, if you want to pick multiple games, you can. You have to join one division. You can still play multiple games and stuff. Okay, on the bottom left hand side, we have Bailing Bust. And in the top right, we have Winter Gaming. Mm -hmm. Alright, so TBZ, man. Should be a very interesting matchup. I have personally, what? in my league, I've had some uh, struggles in this matchup. What is this? What are you doing, Bailing? He goes for the supply right next to the CC with a barracks. No ramp against Zerg, keeping him wide open for potential aggression. He's going to lose. There's nothing protecting him from an all in. Yeah, it won't be a matter. It won't be a matter of time until uh, Winter Scouts that. You would um, hatch first, actually. Yeah, but hatch first is nothing compared to this colossal mistake. What is this? Is just oh, confusing me. He, he just yeah, he is on rank, so he could be extremely new. He went double gas. So you're not a barracks. That is probably true. This this, this could be a re you could be trying to do a reaper all in maybe. Yeah, but this is, he's not even making a unit. Oh my, oh my. He's making well, a wall. on a reactor. He's starting to make a wall, but. It's, yeah. That's weird. All right, and then uh, meanwhile, we have, um, Winter's pool is almost up. His gas is about to be popping, and his second is close to being done. <laughs> right now, he has full saturation on his gas and his mineral wine. This just confuses me a lot, but that's just me saying it. Yeah, I'm very confused by this. 
I never see that. Or this could be a one one one. Mm. No, I just this usually one one one. Never see this. Thank you for the follow. Yes, it, it's a very unorthodox build. That is. Thanks for the follow, uh, Mrs. Zolzol. Um, I don't even know how to. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm not even gonna try pronouncing it. Looks, looks, like very ch looks like a very challenging name to pronounce, man. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try it. But thank you for the follow. This is a very weird, unorthodox build. He's doing two Reapers and following up with nothing else. And thank you for replying to Tall, by the way, man. Welcome to the community, man. Star Porch building. And remember, if you're going to join Tall, put Mad Monk as your recruiter. Nah, don't listen to Monk. Put Yep, favorite person. Nah. Oh, oh. We got Lings. We got Lings. He should start making, pumping out more lings because he sees it open. He sees it open. Kill the pro, the drone, SUV. Oh. And he's trying to go for it, but I don't think one is going to get it in time. No, he didn't. Yeah, this looks like a very um, unorthodox 111, but it, it looks like a 111 nonetheless. However, that wall is very skimpy. Hey, Ash, don't try to move in on our territory. Ash and our as recruiter Kappa. Hey. Hey, he put, uh, he put Winter as the recruiter. <laughs> That's funny. But oh, he yeah, is uh, uh, promoting. Was it Ploricio? Did I read that right? I think that's our new, the, the new recruit that I was talking to. PLO? Are you registered? Um, thanks for the follow. Don't forget Mad Monk. Um, but so far... Well, it's actually a little late for that, Monk, because um, he actually applied and uh, put Winter down as a recruiter. So thank you, Winter, recruiting for Tall, man, even though you're not a member. I appreciate it very much. It's all with this... Oh, uh, this up. Ling's around on the Reapers. Oh. Uh, that, that wall's a little late, but there's the alien. All right, well, he scared off that little push right now. For now. <laughs> He's pumping out a Liberator. He's getting the... And, spore well, he's going Blind Spores around four minutes, which is actually very common. You can go Blind Spore around this time. He's going to see a Liberator? Prevents thing. Yeah, he's going to see it. That's what the... Very good timing with that Overlord Scout. Whoa. Fusion Core already? What are you doing with that Liberator, bro? Are you going to try to mass Battle Cruisers? Fusion core already? This Actually, is just... I think this is the most I've seen you talk since I've been a member of Tall, and I've been here for almost a year and a few months. I'll be here for a year. This is the most I've actually seen you type. Hey, don't bash on Arshana. She's a good member. No, 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 no. Well, she's a very good member. It's just, it's nice to see you talking. So he's got a Liberator range. It's just very weird, because you never see... Fusion core this early. Was he gonna fusion core? Um, he could be going for that liberator upgrade. He is getting the liberator yeah, upgrade. Incre the increased range. He is, yeah, he is. Yeah, the advanced ballistics. This is what I get for looking at the Twitch chat and the game at the same time. And he's yet to pick off this Overlord, man. He's just giving him free intel. Meanwhile, this creep spread going across the map. Steady three base. The other thing going, though, right now, technically, is the fact that a Terran 2 base is technically more powerful than a Zerg 3 base. Okay, so the Overlord got killed. Liberators are massing one at a time. He can definitely get a reactor. And pump out two at a time. Oh, you Skype chat to talk, Ashtar? That's cool. I occasionally use Skype chat to talk with some of my friends from back home. You have friends? Jedi oh. handwave. Monk, we're friends, dude. We've already had this talk, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. But it's fine. Um, it's alright, man. It's okay, bro. Alright, man, I'll forgive you. Okay, this is very unorthodox. 
play style. Well, well right now, uh, we got a couple Mitas on the field for winter. He's upgrading his um, his air attack, and he's sending those Mitas across the map. But he knows, just because of all that free intel, what, two Liberators against 70 Mutas? He's going to be able to easy-peasy pick them off, because a lot of Hellions... Well, I got one Liberator in defensive mode. The other one's not doing anything. But he does have a Missile Turret. Yeah, he, did, he does have a couple turrets up, so that's in his favor. Although, if he flew past the Missile Turret, it will be... Easy pickings for the um, expansion, and on you, the, you finally got that overlord pick. Yep. Oh, and there we go. There's the there's the mutas. Lower right hand side, you can easily kill. Well, those hellions are pretty much dead. Those those mutas are almost dead. If you use that other those liberators, like if you had a couple more, they would have been easily cleaned up. Liberators are very powerful against mutas. They have the AOE damage. I mean, right now, Winner's just expanding across the map like crazy. He's just taking all the expansions. He's taking five expansions. <laughs> I've never seen this type of expansion. Five expansions. I never see that. Yeah, I think at this point when they're just toying with them, like the game's already won pretty much. That's what I think. Well, it's not really I toying mean, yeah, with them. I mean, it's a combat race, so it's very possible, but. Well, it's not really toying with them, um, because he doesn't. He knows roughly what to expect, but he's just building up his army and getting a better economy. Oh, he's got a couple cyclones. So, mech with a lot of bio. How oh, this turn needs to expand soon, man. Otherwise, he's going to just mine himself out. That's for he sure. He needs to get that third. He needs to get a, a, a command sets out anyways, which he's doing now. But he's, for a guy that's upgrading mech style, he has a lot of barracks and only two factories. Ashton, I didn't have to go on all the detail on why you talk. On why you don't talk. I like I was just I was just having some fun then. I know when I, I know when I first joined Tall, I talked very little myself, so That's for sure. I remember that. And now I talk all the time. Like you could never get him to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> That's part because of you, Mad Monk. I believe you. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just joking. Hey, man, you know, you, you, you help me get through the ranks, man. DI, staff officer, you know. I ain't doing that. me all these things, man. No, I ain't doing that. You call me it, though. Nope. I know what you're talking about. The creep spread is pretty good, although, where is. Oh, he's getting high. You already got high, so. You should be seeing oh, all this Oh, this ball, though, man. Those Liberators, if they can pick off those Mutas, man, I would put them in a little bit of a better position. Liberators Cause those, are good against Mutas, those, but a lot of Mutas... They are. Nothing. Well, if he, ha he has a decent amount of Liberators in that ball. Like, if he, like, they're, like, you see how they're clumped up right now like that? If he takes an engagement like that, where they're all clumped up, that's where the AoE damage comes into play. Yeah, but all he has to do is spread them out. Like, oh, split them. that bio! He needs to send those libs in now. Sacrifice bio. Focus the drones if you're gonna attack them. You see, murder. Um, see now the, the way murders. those liberators were used just there. Like that wasn't the, that wasn't the best way to handle those liberators. He could have done that a lot yeah. better. He's getting ultras. He already got the ultras cavern. He's getting three ultras. The upgrade. Yeah, that game's done. Yep. Kites are slating. Because uh, Choo -choo. for most Zergs, they just gotta wait out for Ultras and it's GG. And he, his opponent only has um, plus one, and that's it. All we're just waiting is for the final push, which might be going now. Or he's maybe waiting for the Ultra list. No, he's not. No, it looks like he's going for the push. It's pretty much over. There's nothing he can do. 
even with the blue hellion. Nope, it's GG. Um, very, very, very unorthodox, but he had a little bit going there for him. And he had a GG well played. And Winter is still undefeated. What is that? Uh, five games or six, six games now? I think that's six. I'm not 100%. Yeah, it's 6-0 right now. Should have brought in our EU GM to go against them. <laughs> Buddy joined your channel. Monk. Yes. Angel, you should go against. You should. You should go. I Angel. did nothing. What? I'm getting ripped. What's going on? That's that's the problem, Monk. You've done nothing. I'm waiting on you. I'm going into the Where lobby. Where are you? Relax. Okay, I'm there. I'm joining lobby now. I'm gonna alt tab real quick. Wait. Buddy left your channel. Viewers in a small moment. So. And thanks for watching, by the way. Marshy's up next. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna alt tab one more time. I'm gonna check the onboarding. Ooh, so out of the two people, one can make it to the next. Nice. Right, make sure you sign him to Red Rider because he hasn't done a lot of poop yet, technically. Okay, Angel, we're ready. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, like, um, whatever is pretty entertaining from the times I've watched him. I didn't know he was very, uh, promote, promotional friendly, but, you know, he seems pretty legit, man. He seems very, uh, able playing against, uh, all the tall members. And right now, it's a TVP matchup. We have our member OG Marshfellow on in-game Marshy. And our undefeated GM, will the Platinum rise to the occasion? And finally, end this undefeated streak. What do you think, viewers? He's gonna get wrecked. Okay, top right we have our um, GM Taren and Winter Gaming, and in the bottom left we have Marshy from Top. All right, let's get it out. So meanwhile, since we all know this is a pretty much a gonna be a very simple opening for both sides to begin with. You know, just to kind of give uh, people watching just a little information about the clan. Um, seeing as uh, when I was in Winter Channel before, people kept asking, what's tall, what's tall, what's tall? It's a very big gaming community. Oh. Very big gaming community. We have over 2,000 members. Um, currently, we have up to 35 games that we play that we support as a clan. Um, ranging from a wide variety of things, World of Warcraft, Dota, The Legends, uh, Heroes of the Storm, StarCraft, obviously... Counter-Strike, and so on and so forth. Proxy location. So, you know what I mean. Proxy, Stargate. Ooh, we got a probe. He's going to be a little sneaky-beaky. No. no pl please don't say that again. Please. It just sounded You're weird. Quite it just sounded weird. It's, it's okay, man. It's all right, bro. All right, so we have the SCB scout going across the map. See, from winner. what Marsh has to do is drop down another pylon somewhere around his base and then drop down this pylon. So he should drop down another one just so Winter doesn't get suspicious. Okay, else you're going to have more than I fly. But nope. Does not know when to be sneaky. <laughs> I agree with this viewer. He said for you not to limit my work creativity. You see, he's he, he's pretty much giving it away that he stopped the gateway. Warp gate. What? 
Yeah, he canceled it. Oh, oh no. When he started back up? But you should drop he's down. Got the oh. card, but he, yeah, he should have you should yeah, there we go. He's finally putting down the other power line. There we go. But if you're GM you should and know And he's gonna get away. Yeah. But at the same time, that's not good. He's already getting the bunker, which is not in the right location. It looks like he could be thinking of an, uh, an adept opening, which would explain the bunker. Right now he's got a second base up, um, just about to finish. Let's get the factory down. We're going to check lab. Engineering bay is up. He's going to start up. So he should have the um, turn in time ish. Because he has all right, it. Alright, so we got a couple. We got a he should, two adepts, a mothership core. He should make the um, Oracle right now and boost it out, like, ASAP. What are you oh, waiting he's looking, for? Winner's looking for that proxy. He senses it. He thinks it. He thinks it, and he's looking for it. Um, The caster, I'm a guy, and Mad Monk's a guy. We're both guys. No. Oh, he's going to find it. He's going to find it. Move a little to the right. Mark. Winter. Winter. You've seen it already. He did see the proxy. He does know it's a Stargate. He does have the turrets up, though. Oh, he's, he should be fine. Oh. Oh. That easy pickings right now. Definitely. Right, recall, recall. Nope, that, that's gone. No, it's gone. He tried to do a uh, fancy over, um, overpowered charge. But he caught what he was doing right away. That definitely did not help. Oh, looks like he's going for some void rays. Got an oracle, some void rays. He's uh, warping in the depths up at his proxy. And it looks like he's sending everything to his proxy. Yeah, but he should have taken the time to expand. Yeah, he doesn't even have expansion, so... Well, he, he might so expand it, to the front. I think this is going to be an all-in, probably. Who knows? Yeah, he might pile expand. on there. It could be very easily. Might expand to the front. He has the money for it. Oh, he just, he just warped in more units, more depths. This looks like an adept all-in with a couple of void raids in the mix, man. And at this rate, they got a Cyclone, a Viking... He's making a turret at the ramp. He's making another, another bunker. bunker. Uh, he's pretty much um, already no. Oh, he's rebuilding the pylon. Winter can't see that pylon. You can see that one that he just threw down. Oh. I think uh, the U.S. Oracle he did. I was gonna say if he could throw down a stasis trap, that would have probably helped him. Uh, okay, I'll let's see. Alright, he's moving in the Cyclones. Photon overcharge emerged. Photon overcharge it. There we go. Yeah, but that didn't do much. Repair the bunker. Yeah, those are just a dying left and right. Oh, you got the bunker down. Well, there's another one already in place, so. There's no oh, way. Oh, Marshy Core, though. Yeah, there's no hey, way. Marshy GG's out. It was a one base. Winter's undefeated. That was a good try. Give me one second, I'm trying to get some information. So we should have two more players. Buddy joined the Mark took the damn invite. Sorry, I was all tabbed. I was all tabbed. Relax. Where's my invite, Angel? 
you don't get an invite. I invited Monk to a party because he just joins. So I figured I'd just put him in a party. I was also trying to figure out who's next and how many people are coming in, you know, who are left. Don't mm -hmm. worry about that. I gotta worry. No, no you don't. That's not your job. It, a little bit is. It's okay. So Red Riders, the next opponent. Oh, we have Red Rider! Oh man, my boy, man. Red Rider, Platinum Terran. And I have, probably have a really good feeling on what he's going to do build-wise. TVT? Yeah, I know exactly what he's going to do. I already know. Okay, okay, okay. Just wait, let me see. Don't spoil it. I'm not going to spoil it. <laughs> Apparently, we meet again, according to Red Rider. <laughs> now in the bottom left hand side we have a, our um, GM Terran Winter Gaming and in the top right and in the uh, Red Rider. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. We have Red Rider from Ta. <laughs> Oh, I don't have the um, echo in the background. Mad Monk does. Yes. It's just uh, because I was talking, the echo was of my voice. Well, when you had that. Uh, my name, my. Uh, my... Oh, sorry. Uh, no, um, when you had that uh, phone on, and you were trying to talk while you had the uh, um, feedback, the actual stream playing in the background. That's what was the feedback. But the echo is because yeah, I didn't think of it. my headset is really, really bad. But um, anyway, uh, actually, uh, my in-game name is Yep. So you can call me Yep instead of the guy who said Sneaky Beaky. Like I said, should have never said that. Hey! This guy, our, the guy talking in chat, liked the sneaky beaky, okay? So I'm going to stick with it. No. Well, I don't hear you for any cool little phrases, Monk. Because I usually... You're such a say... pass... You should, change your you should change your name to Passive Aggressive Monk. You're not even a mad monk. You're a <laughs> Passive Aggressive. I'm not Passive Aggressive. I take offense. Not really. I don't care. <laughs> Alright, but both of them have orbital commands down. Red Riders can actually have his out first. Both of the factory down. <laughs> That's funny. So Red Riders factory would be finished a little faster. Oh, uh, yeah, this looks exactly like uh, the build that I was thinking he was going to go for. Me and him play Archon a lot, so I already know if it's a TBT what to expect from him. You're giving away that... You just gave away that Marine Red Rider. What are you doing, bro? Oh, another one! Another reaper coming up. Starport is finished.
Pull the boys. Pull the boys. Mm -hmm. Stop, Siege it. That Siege should it. be enough to scare that reaper. It's sieged up now. Oh, Hellion. It's got a Hellion though, too. He doesn't have the other supply depot to block it off. So again, Banshees from Winter. Stasis. I don't know what you're talking about. Supply depot. He's going to get a supply block now. Easy. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The supply box is coming. And Red Rider is supplied. There's no expansion. No, there's no second. And those Reapers are coming in. Oh, that tank shooting on the other tank. But he did clear Repair. up that. He cleared up. Repair. Okay, good. He has one too many on his gas. Um, Red Rider. So he's going to do a tank drop? Looks like they both have very similar build, except for the Banshee, like in terms of 1-1-1. Uh, one, one, one. Starting out a bunker, though, right here. Put down the turret. Here. Put the turret up. Red Rider, the turret. He doesn't know about the Banshees, though. The turret, man, the turret. And the cloak is about to be done. The cloak is done. Well, he does got scanned. Oh, nope, 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 nope. What are you doing? Turret, man, turret. He's got to wait at least seven seconds for a scan. Oh, 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 fails. Come on, these SCVs are getting destroyed. Fails, fails, fails. Red Rider, your main. Your main. You don't got a natural, so I don't know where you're going. This game's over. You should just GG out. His attack failed. All he had to do was pull the boys. He has 26 wreckers in his main. And he's just getting wrecked. Oh, man. This this game was over before it started, I think. Okay, Red Rider. Yep. <laughs> GG. Thanks for playing with us. Okay, we got one more player. Um... Preserver, I believe. Who? Preserver, I believe. I'm not 100% on the name. Uh -huh. Okay, let's see. But I joined your channel. Waiting on you. Not me. I got I accepted. No, oh, I gotta. I actually have to click and join. Hold on. No, I'm invited. Damn it, yep. He's inviting Here. you. We'll, 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 we'll get it this way. That way I can yell at both of you for slacking. No. We did nothing. Buddy left your channel. My friend Tasma is going to be watching us, maybe. She has how we're doing. <laughs> we're getting wrecked, lady. We're getting wrecked. All right, looks like we have another Terran matchup uh, for winter. Another PVT. PVT is pretty popular tonight, Monk. Yep. Nova. I think that's Preserver's in-game mm. name. Yeah. Okay, um, Angel, if you can hear me, which most likely you can, if there's an open spot next, if we have enough time, can I try again? Although I will get wrecked. Ooh, I'll gladly cast the monk game. No. Um, who's going to stream it besides me? So I'm going to kick you, Angel? and then I'm going to get wrecked. He doesn't have the. Key. I'm watching. I'm watching the game. He doesn't. I'm watching that game. Oh, relax, relax. He doesn't have a key to the game. Buddy joined your channel. Well, hey, Monk, it's apparently until um until uh da, 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 ten Eastern. 
Or no. 11, 11 Eastern. Eastern. Okay. So, yeah. so there might be one more game. 18 minutes. All right. So in the top right, we have the undefeated GM right now. 7-0. Presenting Terry and S. Purple. Winter Gaming. And in the bottom left, we have our very own Preserver as the Red Protoss. And thank you, Tasma, for the pep talk. We're going to get wrecked, Tasma. We're going to get wrecked. We're already getting wrecked. Yeah. Right now, it's seven for the GM and zero for talk. Which is kind of to be expected. Yeah. Uh, there's like two-ish close games, maybe one, uh, but that's about it. I think the closest games was Breath, and then um, the other guy, um, uh, Bane, Baneling, the one that uh, had a very unorthodox build. Oh, it definitely was on uh, our Kind of. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, so right now we have Winter down with a quick gas, followed by the barracks almost done. And then we have a, um, a gas just thrown out for the toss. The gateway's almost up. And I do believe Winter's about to throw down a CC. Let's see what happens. No, no CC. Throws on the orbital command, followed by a Reaper. Oh, Tasma. Before, um, probably after this, I'd like to talk to you for like three minutes, give or take, a little bit. So we're going to take a quick couple minutes, and that's it. Don't accept his request for transfer. Don't do it. I'm not transferring. Uh, what are you? Are you drinking? I'm just busting your chops. I'm just having some fun, Monk, because you always joke, like, oh, yeah, I'm going to transfer. And... Well, I, I, yeah, I was originally going to transfer to the EU side of HOTS because they need a recruitment drive, a recruiter, and they're doing like a $200 thing, so that's why. No, oh, the mode is $200 winner. Well, I would have uh, um, transferred back after the recruitment drive ended for them. Like, I'm not that hard. Oh, <laughs> oh he's like, oh, I'd come back after I win. Pretty much. Oh, he hit that probe and it's about to get picked off. Oh, Reaper picked off that probe that was hitting it that natural. And double pylons up there. Got a forge and a gateway in the back. Monster core just finished. See, I still believe the photon overcharge should be 50. It should not be 25. Oh, apparently she says Hots is better than StarCraft. Yeah, she's been drinking. I don't know what she's on. Did you have enough coffee today, Tasma? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Three for picking off some probes here. Right now he's got a total of two, three. What? And that overcharge just went down. That was a fail. Oh, you use uh, a adept. Oh, oh. oh man, that adept. Should have used it. So right now that Reaper running away has three pro kills. If oh, you're drinking coffee right now. The pylon was Are slightly. Sure the coffee isn't spiked. The pylon was slightly closer. It would have been fine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, we have uh, about halfway on the warp gate then for our uh, Protoss. And now we got a start port down halfway. We have the Ghost Academy up for winter. Ooh. Where is that? Oh. Got a winter nukes. line out. Come on. Get the nukes ready, baby. Nuke the crap out of it. Because. That's already going to happen, a nuke. <laughs> You're predicting a nuke? Yeah, blow people up. Or he's going to use the EMP on the mothership, and then it's going to be GG after like two minutes. Come on, get the nuke. You already have the ghost factory. It's going to take 100 gas. You easily can get that 100 gas. You got to mine this gas, though. Winter. You gotta mine it. There's two adepts out in the front. Um, we don't mine in the front base. It's five kills still. 
Okay, you should be. Okay, yeah, fire kills on that Reaper. But he does have some defensive cannons, so that should help. He has the depths at the third. Got a little mine nicely placed at the ramp. More depths. Come on. Get the um, nuke. Come on. Nuke. I want to see a nuke. I think he's just saving the ghost for the EMP. Get the nuke. It's a lot better. Yeah, I saved that for the EMP rounds, eliminate toss shields. Nice move of the Eclipse there, so, um, wonder and see him with his ghosts. Right now, it just seems very, uh, adept heavy. If you're gonna do an adept push right now, you, like, a War Prism would be nice, and Resonating Glaze from the Twilight. He's, getting too, he's wasting too many minerals too early on supply. Should have get some more army, get shields or armor. But armor should be better. Come on, Winter. I want to wipe the floor with you. Why would you put the bunker down there? Hmm? That's weird. Okay. Alright, so we have two CCs being built by Winter. We have another barracks down. Still no nuke. Sorry, rip, Mad Monk. That is um, one more is about to be done for him. He's okay. And the meanwhile, our product Shoot. player just threw down a robo. Just now threw down the robo. All, it's pretty much an all adept army with uh, two stalkers over here. Towards the bottom left, near his net. Running only on uh, four gateways. You're getting two command centers already. More. He's moving out. Yeah, but this adept army should be easily picked off. Especially with those double bunkers right now. I mean, there's just nobody in them right now, but. A, um, yep. Subrat said to check your sound. Uh, he said, he said is you there sound. Anything in particular we keep an eye out for? He said you sound like you're in the bathroom. I don't know. I don't know. That's all he said. But if it's the echo, that's my headset. So, Brent, if that's what you're talking about. Anything else? Get the. He's getting a nuke. Ah, uh, he's getting a cloak. Come on. <laughs> the cloak's almost out. He's just starting to suck in a tag upgrade. Throwing down some missile turrets. And then nice mule drops, four right there as third. Hey, sorry. Uh, sorry, seven. Um, you told me to tell him, so I did. There's nothing else I can do. <laughs> He's getting a lot of games. It could be just the way my headset is, subret. Sorry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Man, he can easily just run in and kill him. So I can try to wipe the floor with you, Winter. But it's okay, you're scared. Mm. He's just taking his time, man. Like, did he not see that he was bronze player? Come on, Winter. Get the grenade, the nukes. Why are you not getting nukes, man? He's pumping out ghosts like crazy, but he's not getting the right... Um, why is he getting so many bunkers? He's just lining that bunker wall up. I think he's just doing it for show more than anything, maybe. Are we getting the War Prism drop? Yeah, there, he's just gonna run those ghosts in there. But, uh... Oh, well... That's over. But one more hit, bam. Oh, uh, uh, the War Prism moves. No, don't... With three health. Don't bring him back. Uh, that War Prism got super lucky. Okay... 
Tasma, you'll get wrecked by Tic Tac, okay? So, just watch out. Still no nukes. What is going on? Also, he's getting a bunker upgrade. Oh man, those adepts were just wrecked. He's going mass ghost. Yet no nukes. He hasn't doesn't have a need for him. If he just has a steady amount of EMPs, Lemon needs a lot of game. That pretty much what needs every gateway unit. Hey Breath, tell Winter to get nukes. That's all I want to see a nuke. Blow things up. EMP the mothership. Just EMP the mothership. You got this. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh. You can just pop in and go yourself invisible. You see, a nuke would have been perfect right there. All bundled up and everything. Can you not actually hear what Mad Monkey's saying, Tic Tac? I can hear him. That I said that Tic Tac will wreck Tasma. And I don't know if that's true. That's just what I think. Oof, man. Those ghosts just me. The, the supply difference. It's like a hundred supply difference. And he's still going for the Adepts. We're going to lose, Tasma. We're, we're just going to lose. There's really nothing we can do. In a steady stream of bunkers. It's just... <laughs> it's a huge bunker wall. Why don't he just attack? Make a nuke. Like, just make one nuke. Like, you got the money for it. Don't be cheap. Yeah, he's working on his uh, third attack right now. He's at 2 2. He's getting a uh, 3. Uh, like, what and is. Our, uh, Protoss so player only has hard. one towards his attack. I just want to see one nuke. Oh, uh, you, uh, you struggle to hear deep voice. That monk does kind of have a deep voice. It took me a little while to adjust to his voice when I first met him. It's okay. I never find, I never knew I had a deep voice until people started telling me your voice is so deep for somebody this young. I don't know. It's, it is what it is. You salvage one bunker. You can always audition for like a Darth Vader role. He has a deep voice. Hey, you can uh, um, audition for a stunt double in the Mr. Clean commercial, the bathroom edition. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Like, what is with this bunker line? You're not going to need it at all. I think he's, he's just having fun at this point, man. Oh, I know That's that. I think. Oh, I definitely know that. He could have finished probably this game a long time his, ago. Probably somebody on his stream said just to do that, you know what I mean? They now have zealots. A lot of zealots. So it's not going to do nothing. He's making a lot of photon cannons. Okay, so he has two observers. They're both together, so that that can't do nothing. I'll still say it's Mad Monk's fault with the tech. How's that sound? No. He should have. Oh, he goes for the bunker line! Save the bunker line by getting a nuke. Oh, those ghosts tearing up the Zealot army. It's three to. Uh, plus three attack to zero um, defense. Man, that army was ruined. And now he's just gonna wait some more until the bunkers actually make it into his base. He's not even using the uh, fourth um, expansion. He doesn't really need it. You know, Winner just needs the A move and win the game already. Chasm, come on, Zelts, we believe in you. 
No, no. Zealots are crap against ghosts. They can't do nothing. Why are you so Yeah, ghost army's OP right now. <laughs> Just get one <laughs> ghost, one nuke. What's so hard about a nuke? Like, seriously. He's loading up all of them, too. Loading up? Yeah, he's got bunkers loaded up. Some of them. He's got Oh, they were. About to say. They were loaded. So he's getting a fourth expansion. There's all this only in half. Oh, there's oh, the Zalots are up back out again? Oh, they got charged now. Yeah, just upgrade. But that does nothing. Oh, they got a ghost kill. Winter's such a troll. <laughs> like, come on. Is that a GG? Mm -hmm. Hey, what are you? What Doing what you he's forming. Oh, he's gonna um, put him in every single bunker. Oh, such a troll! He's putting them in and then just <laughs> moving them across <laughs> until they get to the very last one. That was such a troll. And now the onslaught begins. And that is GG. That is the very end of the stream since Winter. And he GG'd stuck. out. Are you going for that matchup, Monk? Or? No, no. Damn, it's already over. Um, he's good until 11 yeah. p.m. Eastern Time, and it's already 11 p.m. Eastern Time. All right, everybody, well, thanks for watching Tall TV, and thanks for listening in on the stream. Thank you again.